Hello friends, welcome. In this class, we will talk about the aggregate demand and its components. In this, we detail, we understand in detail the meaning and the concept of aggregate demand, aggregate demand curve and the components of the aggregate demand. So let's start with the meaning and the concept of the aggregate demand. Okay. Here, there is a difference between the aggregate demand and a demand. We often heard the word demand. Okay. So there is a difference between, there is a huge difference between aggregate demand and a demand. Here the demand is, focuses on the microeconomic concept. Okay, demand is a microeconomic concept, whereas aggregate demand is a macroeconomic concept. Okay, aggregate demand focuses on a very broad area. Okay. Uh, demand, as it is a microeconomic area, it focus a concept. It focuses on a particular market only. Okay. For example, the demand of a textile industry, let's say, okay, or the demand of cement industry, etc. Okay, so that is called the demand. Whereas aggregate demand is the total demand of all the industries or all the markets taken together. As the word itself suggests, aggregate means the whole or the total or the sum. Okay. So it is known as the whole demand, total demand. Okay. So we can say that aggregate demand is a total demand for all final goods and services. In an economy, okay, total demand of all the goods and services of an economy at a given time and at all possible price level. Here in the aggregate demand, we have the price level rather than just a price. Okay, so we can say that aggregate demand is the total quantity of output, or we can say it is a real GDP. Okay, that all buyers of an economy want to buy at a price level okay at a given price that is called the aggregate demand here uh, it is said that the all buyers all buyers include the consumers firms or the businesses governments or the foreigners etc they all are buying things not only the consumers okay so all the buyers include all of these and not only the consumers so this is called the aggregate demand that is the total demand okay of any goods and services at the given price level okay to understand it better let's understand the aggregate demand curve but the aggregate demand curve is it shows the relationship between it shows the relationship between the price level and aggregate output okay let's understand it with the help of a graph we have the x and y axis Okay, 
on the x axis we have the real gdp the aggregate demand and on the y axis we have the price level okay and the aggregate demand curve is a downward sloping demand curve okay and as it is downward sloping demand curve it shows a negative relationship between a price level and aggregate output so that when the price is increasing the real gdp is decreasing okay prices here or if the price is then it's decreasing the real gdp is increase and vice versa okay so it shows the ad curve the aggregate demand curve shows the negative relationship between the price level and the real gdp okay so this is about the aggregate demand curve okay now let's understand the components of aggregate demand okay mainly we have the four components of the aggregate demand it is said that ad is equal to c plus i plus g plus x minus m over here c is the consumption that is the consumer expenditure consumer expenditure may be on the durable or the non durable goods okay so that is the consumer which the expenditure made by the consumer i refers to the capital investment made by the firms and the businessmen in the uh, for purchasing the plant and machinery or for buying the building for the production purposes etc okay so that is known as capital investment that is also one of the component of aggregate demand then g refers to the government spendings okay expenditure made by the government for the development purposes so g refers to the government spending over here there is a difference between the exports x refers to the export and m refers to the import okay so the difference between export and import is called the net export okay that is also a one of the component of aggregate demand here the net export if it is positive if the net export is positive we have the trade surplus in which the export is higher than the import so we have the addition into the aggregate demand and if the net export is negative we have the trade deficit that reduces the aggregate that reducing the aggregate demand okay so these all are the function of aggregate demand i hope you understand it better the aggregate demand and its component in the next class we will talk about the propensity to consume and propensity